is Columbus Day, celebrating Christopher Columbus's uh, discovery of the America, uh, Americas in 1492. Of course, he wasn't the first guy here, and we've seen uh, quite a bit of attention on that in recent years. St. Paul joining Minneapolis this year. Both of the Twin Cities recognize this as Indigenous Peoples Day. Minneapolis made the change last year, choosing to recognize native communities in the history of the region. St. Paul passed that resolution two months ago. Recently, the Minneapolis Park and Recreation Board added the Dakota name Bidet Makaska to the Lake Calhoun signs. This is a way to honor the native people of this area. And also, there's been quite a bit of talk about uh, the name Calhoun, whether that is an appropriate name or not, someone worthy of honor. So the Dakota name has been added unofficially. Uh, not, it's still Lake Calhoun, but they changed that. There are going to be a number of events to celebrate Indigenous Peoples Day. Today, we put uh, links to that information on our Facebook page. Uh, as far as parking meters, it is a parking meter holiday in Minneapolis, except for certain parks, the U of M, private mm -hmm. organizations. You still have to feed those meters. In St. Paul, the, the parking meters that are there are not free today, so you do have to pay for that. Uh, no mail today. Mm -hmm. It's a federal holiday, so no courts. A lot of city offices are closed as well, so check before you go do any of that stuff.